In order to calculate the ANOVA statistic, we're going to need to, uh, to compute the between group and within group sums of squares, or the between group and within group variabilities. So in this equation, we have the sum of squares B, the sum of squares for between the groups. And let's look at what this equation is. We're looking at the sum from 1 to K, where K is the number of different groups. So in our case, we had three different groups. So we're going to count from 1 to 3. And in each summation, we are going to multiply n sub i, so that's the sample size of each group, times the difference between the group mean and the total mean. And remember, the total mean is just the mean across all of the observations, regardless of what group they're in. And then we are going to, so we're taking the sum of that product, and the differences here are squared. Remember, it's the sum of squared, the sum of squares, and that's where that notion comes from. We're looking at the squared deviances of the group means to the total means. Now, the total mean can be just thought of as the sum over all the x's divided by the total number of observations. But sometimes we don't have in our, in our data table the actual observation uh, values. We only have the group means and the group sample sizes. In that case, we can still calculate the total mean. It's essentially just a weighted mean where we're taking the group means and weighting them by the group sample sizes. In either case, the reason we need the total mean is to have a number in this equation in order to calculate the between group sum of squares. Let's look at this equation just very quickly. When we have x bar, so the x bars here are the different group means that we have. If the group means are all very similar, then x bar i for each group mean is going to be very similar to the total mean. Because the total mean is just a weighted average of the three group means. So in the extreme case, if the group means were all equivalent, then they would all be equivalent to the total mean, and the sum of squares for between group variability would be 0. But the more different the group means are from each other, the higher the sum of squares uh, uh, the between sum of squares is going to get. So if there's more difference between the groups, this SSB is going to get larger. The within group variability, or the within group sum of squares, sum of squares sub within, sum of squares sub w, is, is essentially a weighted combination of each of the between group sum of squares. So what we have here is the sum from 1 to k. So k is the number of groups. And we're going to multiply n minus 1, so the group size, so each sample size minus 1, times the variance of the, of the variable within that group. So this is the variance. S sub i is the sample variance of group i. So all we are going to do is calculate the sample variance of each group. That's just the normal equation, the sum of the square deviations of each observation to the group mean squared divided by n minus 1. So this is the within group variability. Now, if within the groups the variability is very small, that means that there's not going to be a lot of sampling error, error associated with that group's mean. So in the case where we have small within group variability, the sum of squares, uh, the sum of the squares of the within groups is going to be small as well. In the case when each group actually has a lot of variance in it, then our sum of squares within is going to be large.